Here you can see I have a Santa's Toy Store spreadsheet and it's the quarterly sales report for all the different stores here throughout the US and then we have the quarter totals and then the years totals and then the quarter totals for all the stores. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to enhance this so we can make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye and that's part of a presentation is making it look nice. So when I print these off and I mail them off to all the store managers at the different stores available I can add our logo here like let's say we want to add a picture of Santa here in our header so when I print it off I can add them to the header left side, center or right. Also let's make Santa a watermark or wash him out so he doesn't cover up the text. In fact he'll be behind the title here, Santa's Toy Store. And again washed out enough so it's not so dark that I can't see or make out the text here. And then I'll add the current date so anytime I print this report off it'll add today's date. And then finally a little side note is that I'll show you how to hide these grid lines here. As you've probably already noticed that when you print the spreadsheet off it doesn't print the grid lines but just any time I'm working in here if I don't want to see the grid lines I can hide those as well. Now if you haven't watched the training video on Excel Level 1 on headers and footers, I recommend that you do that because I'm assuming you already know the basics of headers and footers. For example, there's two ways to insert a header or a footer into our worksheet here. And again, the definition of a header or footer just means that it's something that's going to be printable at the top of each page. Well, this spreadsheet is so small here, it's going to fit on one page. But if the database was like, let's say, down to row 1000, that'll be several pages, like five, six, or seven, or so forth. So if I put a header, it'll appear at the top of those seven pages. It'll copy over to each page. So that's the definition of a header. In any case, I'll leave that up to you to watch that training video on level one. But to get started, like I said, there's two ways to insert a header or footer. The first way is going through the back door route. And what I mean is when you click on the page layout tab, and you click on its expandable dialog box button in the page setup group, Go to the header or footer tab, and then here you have the custom header and the custom footer where you can click on the custom header and then add your logo or picture to the center, left, or right sections here. But I don't want to do it that way because it's very limited with the way I can customize my logo when I insert it. For example, when I click cancel, the other way I can do it is I can come up on the insert tab, go over to the text group, and click on the header and footer button. And when I click on it, it changes the view. It changes it from the normal view to the page layout view. How do I know? When I click on the view tab, do you see the page layout view? And then there's the normal view. Notice how I can't click on the normal view. And you would have learned this in the Excel Level 1 training video on headers and footers, how to be able to change this. But basically, because I'm in the header, it won't let me change the views. Okay, so back here, I'm in the header section, and it's got its related design textual tab, meaning that anytime I'm in the header section, it's got little options and features that I can customize or format just for the header and or footer sections. Least of which is the picture here. So I'm going to come here and click on the picture button. And I'm going to go to my exercise folder which is on my desktop. If you recall in the previous training video in level one, everything I have is on my desktop in my exercise folder here. Double click on that. I'm going to double click on Santa. Now the text here, the coding picture, is there and I won't be able to see the picture until I click off the header section. When I click off of it, it adds the picture here. But I want to go back to my header and footer section so I can come up here and click in the section here and then its related tab pulls up because it assumes that I have more to do in my header section here, which I do. I want to format the picture. Now do you notice how you get more elements here to help you with your headers and footers? Then if you went to the page layout tab and just click on its expandable dialog box button, you just have a few little options. You get more options here when you go to the insert tab to your header and footer section. Okay. Again, that's all in level one. So back to my design tab. Here's the picture. And I want to be able to format the picture to make it a washout, more like a watermark, because the lines are pretty dark and it blends too much in with the title here, Santa's Toy Store. So click on the Format Picture button up here in the Header and Footer Elements group. I can change the height, um, also the scaling if I want it larger or smaller. But I'm going to go to the Picture tab and say, don't give me the automatic color, but give me a washout color. And you can see that it changes the contrast and brightness so it fades more when I click OK it's more to the background. It doesn't pop out and that way I can tell the difference between the title here and the image. And it looks a little bit cleaner too. Now like I said I could add this to the center here, click over to the right right section and click on picture and add Santa's picture over to the right section or to the left, but I'm going to keep it in the center here, that's fine. Now what I want to do is I want to add the current date at the bottom of the footer. Now I could come over here and scroll all the way down to the bottom which would take too long, okay? And then click in the footer section but anytime you're in the footer or header section you can come up here to its related design tab and just click go to header go to footer a lot quicker now remember these elements are going to be repeated on every page now right here it has the page of page like this is page one of two it's got the coding in there and I can keep that if I want but since it's only one page it doesn't make sense so I can just go ahead and delete it and then all I have to do is come up here to the design tab in the header and footer elements group and click on current date 
click on the button and it adds the coding that any time I go ahead and print this off it'll always be today's date. I can also add the current time I suppose. That looks fine. Now it's only showing me the codes but when I scroll up just a little bit and I click off of the header footer section like back into the main spreadsheet here it'll actually show me the date and time. I can click back on it to get the codes back and then those are slammed right together so maybe I want a little bit of spacing in between the date code and the time code and then click off to see what it looks like. Looks a lot better. Now this isn't the normal view and again if you watch level one train video on headers and footers if you want to change the views then you want to go back to your view tab go from the page layout view here in the workbook views to the normal view it'll pull you out of this page layout view how you want to lay out your page which includes headers and footers which when you go back to normal view you won't see them anymore now keep this in mind when you're in your header and footer and you go to the view tab you can't get out of this view it won't let you because it says look if you're in the header or footer you're stuck here until you actually click off in a blank area here or in the spreadsheet and then you can go ahead and click on the normal view in which case I can scroll all the way up to the top or hit control home on the keyboard to take me to cell A1 and then it looks normal. Now how is this going to print off? Because I don't see the Santa here and the reason why is because I'm not in the page layout section where I can see my headers and my footers it's not showing it here but it'll print off and if you recall in the previous training videos on print preview what you see is what you get so before I print it off if I click on the office logo button come down to print and click on print preview there we go if I click to zoom in you can see the picture of Santa and then I can scroll down to the bottom here and you can see the date and time as well and I can click on to zoom it out so I can get the full view of the whole page here I'm going to go ahead and close out of the print preview so that will always be there until I actually go back to my header footer section delete the codes the codes on the picture and the codes also for the date and time in the header and footer sections and then finally the page layout when I click on that tab I want to be able to show you that you don't have to view the grid lines within your spreadsheet like for example I come over here to the cheat options and I uncheck the view grid lines they're no longer there and this is just a visual cue for you because if I go ahead and check on it and I go to print preview again Notice when you print it off, it doesn't print the grid lines anyways. So I'm going to close out of here. And again, the whole purpose of this is just to show you that if you don't want to see the grid lines within the spreadsheet, to help enhance the view, whether electronically, if somebody's going to be viewing this electronically, or if you print this off, again, it won't print the grid lines anyways. And then also, if you don't want to see your headings as well, like you have your column headers A, B, C, D, and your row headers, just come over here to the Sheet Options group, again on the page layout, and uncheck the view so I don't see my headers at all so you're looking at a pretty clean view here of course I can double click on the the ribbon here the tab and it collapses the ribbon as well and that's probably about as clean as you're gonna get it here double click to bring it back and then when I want to see my grid lines and also my row and column headers check those boxes again hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video you'll be notified instantly and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face you can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.